What a week. It's been a washout. And you know what? At least today we are going to have to get through some more rounds of rain. But as we head into the weekend, not to worry, the rain chance will be decreasing and we will see some improvement slowly but surely. So thanks for your patience. I know we need Mother Nature to turn off the faucet because the rain this week has been ridiculous, right? But at least it'll help us with our drought. A flood watch is in effect through this evening and our next alert does continue. And as and we're looking at the radar. Yep, there's some more rain earlier this morning. It was Broward County. Now Miami Dade County is dealing with the rain. So here we go. Coral Gables, Pinecrest. Yeah, probably not a good idea to take the lunch outside today because it is quite soggy. In fact, we're seeing even some moderate to heavy downpours around these neighborhoods as well as Palmetto Bay, Cutler Bay near South Alapata, near Leisure City and as well Homestead. So yes, it is cloudy out there. We are seeing temperature is already in the mid to upper 80s. It does feel like 95 and Miami feels like 94 and Fort Lauderdale feels like 95 in Key West. And as we head into the afternoon, temperatures will warm up by a few more degrees. But as we start to get more showers and storms, then we'll start to see those temperatures drop a little bit. So we're highs in the mid to upper 80s today. The rain tracker is showing that, yep, we're starting to see moisture in the form of that swath of rain impacting parts of Miami-Dade, which will then begin to likely lift northward into portions of Broward here. As we head into the early afternoon, the heaviest rain could be over Homestead and Southern Dade County here between 1 and 3 p.m. in the Upper Keys as well. But Broward County and the rest of Miami-Dade still dealing with plenty of rain here. And then notice how 5 o'clock our attention turns to the Keys, especially the Lower Keys, Upper Keys and Homestead and Southern Dade County where you might be dealing with the bulk of the action and the heaviest downpours. But your Saturday morning looking quiet. So if you want to make those plans, it's also looking cloudy though. Keep that in mind. As we get into the afternoon, still mainly dry when the evening though that's when we see the chance for some showers and storms and this is important to know because we've got the Panthers game tomorrow night so if anyone's going to be out and about celebrating late tomorrow night and overnight well there will be the potential for some rain overnight Sunday morning for Father's Day looking quiet in the afternoon just a few isolated showers maybe a stray storm but today still unsettled today will be our final day with a high rain chance tomorrow back to our typical storm coverage in the afternoon will be drier and warmer and breezy for Father's Day on Sunday in the tropics. That area of low pressure off the Carolina coast has a 20% chance of development, but it's moving away to the northeast. And we have this disturbance in the southwest Gulf of Mexico, which now has a 50% chance of development. So the rain chance does decrease to 40% tomorrow with a high of 87. Sunday, 89 for Father's Day. What a treat for all the dads. You deserve it. Temperature is in the upper 80s with a rain chance lower at just 20%, turning breezy and with highs in the upper 80s as we head into next week, just a 30 to 40% chance of rain.